what's up what's good what's going on Sagittarius so I want to jump in and see what is it that you need to be made aware of on this beautiful day guys this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node Venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the Manjula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said guys let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay Alright, so I just want to let you all know that we are nearing the end of the month. So there's just a few more days left for you guys to use the coupon code ELEVATE444 to get 15% off of any and all of your personal readings. So head over to themanjulaawakening.com to see where um, to, to view all of the personal reading options that we offer here. Alright, wow. So what you're needing to be made aware of right now is I feel like that in today's energy, there is someone external to your present situation that is affecting the way that someone or something is showing up for you. And so I feel like that something is going to be something or someone is going to seem distant from you. And I do feel like that there is external energy that is interfering with this that's causing this situation to be distant here let's break this down a little bit spirit what is the situation here what's going on with this person that's in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this there's definitely a third party energy that is creating distance in between you and your partner but you can't it's like if you ignore the red flags now they will come to bite you in the ass later. Someone is lying about the distance between you and them. There is a third party. Someone in... Someone could be experiencing, because I'm going to go with what initially came through. I feel like that someone is experiencing a breakup. And whatever breakup that is, it's putting distance between you and this person. I don't know. I definitely feel like that someone is being sneaky. Someone is lying. I can't get away from that. So let's just see. What is the situation here? What is the situation? Yeah, third party all day long. Straight out the door third party situation so I definitely feel like that someone here is hooking up someone is being tempted by someone has been tempted someone is intermingled with a third someone is dating mm -hmm. so there's distance between you and someone there this distance is because there is another energy Well, what's going on inside of this seduction? What's going on inside of this seduction here? Mm, someone's getting evidence, making memories. They over making memories. <laughs> Somebody's over collecting evidence, y'all. Why I found that funny, I have no idea. Probably because I'm a Sagittarius. But... It does look like there's someone that over making memories, that's for sure. Um, this I do feel like that there's a lot of reminiscing that's going on. So um, but we do have addiction here at the bottom of the deck. So this third party could be some it's like it's not like it's someone brand new to the roster is what I'm getting. I do feel like that this is someone that is very much so well known in their life like this person knows this person they're definitely trying to rekindle a flame and they're sneaking going about like i don't know there's this there's something like they're just not being up they're not being honest and upfront about this situation here whatever Okay, whatever is going on, of like whatever this third party situation is for you, Sagittarius, 
there's 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 an emotional blockage that is being identified via this experience here so either your person is becoming aware of an emotional block that they have or they're becoming aware of an emotional block within that connection that is allowing them to see an emotional block within them so that they can successfully move forward or this is happening for you we'll dive in in the tarot in just a moment but let me get one more of these just to get a little bit more insight as to what's going on here inside of this third party that is sabotaging this connection here. Hmm. Um, I feel like that this person, if I'm being honest with you, there's not a lot of certainty about the future inside of that third party connection. Okay. As a matter of fact, I want you to know. That there are a lot of cards here that are telling me that as this person is sneaking around and distant from you, whatever the case they got going on over there, this person is missing you. Okay? They are thinking about you. Um, but I feel like that someone is experiencing some, like someone is understanding why a situation ended the first time around. And I feel like that your person or the person that you're dealing with definitely rekindled or entertained the idea of a past situation in here recently and i feel like that there was some hooking up into like there was hooking up there okay temptations were presented and temptations were received i feel like that right now in this present moment it looks like that there's distance between you and this person and I do feel like that this person is recognizing, like, damn, I know why it didn't work out the first time around with whatever they decided to be, fall into the temptation of. Because of this temptation, there is this uncertainty as to what the future holds for the two of you all. But it doesn't, this person is sad about the choices and the decisions that they've made, period. They are definitely thinking of you right now. And they are desiring, um, like, they are, I'm assuming that this is going to tell me that they're desiring another opportunity for you, with you. But they got some shit going on. Let me see. How does this situation right here affect Sagittarius? How does this situa situation right here affect Sagittarius spirit? Whatever this situation is, how is it affecting Sag? Rejection is how it's affecting you. So it's it's causing you to feel rejected. How would Sagittarius, like, who is this? Who is the liar to Sagittarius? Like, okay, I don't want to ask that question. That's not where I want to go. How is this person currently showing up in Sagittarius' life? How is this person currently showing up in Sagittarius' life? How will Sagittarius know who this storyline is about, Spirit? How will Sag know who this is in their life? Thank you. Um, It could be a Libra. We have the Justice card here. I definitely feel like that this is someone that... Ooh, the devil. Um... Oh. I don't know I would almost say that you would like how you would know who this person is sometimes you feel like that this is like this is really screaming karma karma so you would feel like that this person um, is a karmic energy the emperor my god a lot of majors how would Saj know who this person is? This person definitely presented an injustice while trying to come off as trying to be fair and trying to balance the scales out. But the truth of the matter is, is that this person showed up very 
unjustifiably in your life. Show me the justice. Two of Wands. They always planned. Like their plans seem like that it would bring in balance. But it just never seemed they were never able to get the, the, the horse up and moving. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. It's like the strategy or the plan is always beautiful. But as far as like the potential there is beautiful. This person never put in the true amount of work to, to bring that plan to fruition. What is... Mm -hmm. This is definitely um, affecting your life as like somehow making you feel rejected. You're rejecting... This is leaving you like... This gives you hungry vibes like like not every man can eat at this one here. So this makes you feel as like, I don't know, like when you're involved in this situation, it takes away from your abundance mindset. It gives this situation here gives off that there's not enough pie to go around. But this person tries to offer some sort of an assurity that they do have what it takes to make sure that that nothing interferes with anything but it ultimately always ends up interfering with everything let's see clarify this seduction energy for the someone else the seduction this third party show me what's going on inside of this temptation third party hookup dating Could be a younger air sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but they're definitely, I'm curious. Uh, I definitely feel like that um, someone has absolutely uh, awakened someone's curiosity here. For some of you all, some they went in recklessly. They went in recklessly um, and they were just shooting their shot. And their shot got accepted. Like their shot hit something. And now there's they're burdened. Yeah. They're burdened by now what it is. Show me this page of swords. Could be a younger air sign. They definitely shot their shot. Planted and they don't even recognize they they planted a, a, a they planted a seed, honey. King of Cups here. This situation is emotionally manipulative here. Someone tried to manipulate the situation here with the third party. And I feel like that they kind of walked themselves into. They blind. They took a blind leap of faith here. Um, a, it was definitely a premature decision. I just heard pre-nut. Damn. What's the. Yeah, this is, I, I'm, I'm getting that this is, uh, it, they got to put the work in to now try to balance this situation out. So there is definitely someone else that is interfering and, um, I don't know. Ooh, what is, why is it, why is the eight of pentacles here? Why is it so much work? The devil to the Ace of Cups. Someone could have possibly. Um, I, I'm telling. Somebody could have. Like I don't know. Ran up in something raw. And uh, they could now. Like there could now be the expectation of child here. There could be the expectation of child. They got a. It's like a wait and see process here. Okay, so reminiscing, um, camera, reminiscing, making, and I asked what's going on inside of this third party. It says making memories. Rem, uh, so, you know, reminiscing. So, like I said, I, I don't feel like that this is someone brand spanking new to this person, but I definitely feel like that they, 
uh, made some sort of new memory, honey. Damn, that could it could have been intentional. It just could have, you know, that could have had some premature makeup sex, and something could have been grown. Like I don't know, maybe a seed was like a child was planted there. If so, there it's it's likely it's a little girl that they'll be having. Um, it's likely a little girl um, born around March. Could be born around anywhere from December 22nd. So Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, child is what I would assume would be perceived out of this right here if a child was conceived. Um, but I feel like that if I'm being honest with you, I do feel like that there was some sort of materialistic, some sort of surface level expectation here. But there's something about this being their wish fulfillment, though I can't lie. Um, I don't know, like, this person has a strong desire for a family. See, I do. I feel like that someone is at least trying to strategize because whatever... This is definitely going to make you feel rejected here. Why? What is this King of Pentacles star card, Page of Cups? My God. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely this. Okay, so Sagittarius, it looks like there's somebody in your atmosphere. There's something about a strong energy somebody needs to know. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm recording this the day before I'm releasing it. And I just did a recording like maybe two or three hours ago. And someone else was the very card that came out from there as well. And it was a third party reading as well. So I feel like that someone is needing to understand that someone has went back to someone from their past. They are rekindled, like they are attempting to rekindle. I do feel like that there's a potential pregnancy that is going to come of this situation right as they're recognizing like, damn, I understand why it didn't work out the first time around. But it's like before they recognized that this is why it didn't work out the first time around, there was a significant seed planted and it does have to run its course now. Um, there is something about this rekindling that does offer some level of wish fulfillment whether this person feels like that they can have the family dynamic over there with this person or they can have some sort of material success over there i also feel like that this person knows how to run the rope so that they can still step out of that connection so even if these people figure out how to like if they just figure stick together for the kids somebody is going to be constantly cheated on over there I definitely feel like that someone was strat went back trying to strategize to have their family back. I ain't going to hold you. This Ten of Cups ain't went nowhere. And it's stuck around with the Knight of Cups. Someone is definitely playing a strategy trying to figure out how to have their family and still cheat. Like, still be deceptive at the same time. This, so, you know, they over there thinking about you, Sag. They are, they're strategizing as to how to, how to maneuver that situation that they didn't decide to rekindle and still, um, get back. They still missing you. They still, they, they are sad. They thinking about you. The future with you is uncertain. They un the, the future is uncertain right now. But I, I will tell you right now, I don't see this person being done with you. They definitely could be about to reach out.
What is this sadness here? What is this missing you, thinking about you, uncertain about the future? What's going on? Yeah, see, this person is holding on to you with dear life. Yeah, they over there. They're over there. They're over there in a prickly situation. I, I'm telling you, there's some sort of separation that's happening that will be happening in this rekindled relationship over here. And this person is holding on to an opportunity or hopes of coming back your way, Sag. It's ultimately what this person is manifesting. It's ultimately what this person is manifesting or you're manifesting it. One of the two. What's the four of pentacles? This person is definitely thinking about you, holding on to sweet memories that you all had. The, what is the four of pentacles? The four of pentacles is the page of pentacles. This person is holding out for an opportunity. I'm telling you, this person is manifesting a collaboration with you. Look, I can't make this shit up. They're holding on to it. They're going to figure out some way or another to offer you something. At least that's what they're doing. That's what they're thinking about. They're trying to figure out a way to offer you something in order for you not for you not to fully let go. What's the page of pentacles? The ten of pentacles, my goodness. The King of Wands. Ooh, Jesus. Oh my goodness, the Two of Cups. This person is coming to offer you something long term. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say this, Sag. They thinking of offering you something long term. They got... They they didn't went and they didn't went and got themselves in a situation in a little pickle here. They have definitely went and got themselves in a little pickle here. What's this King of Show me the King of Pentacles? What is the King of Pentacles? The seven oh shit. Seven of Cups. If I'm be honest with you, this person wants this person wants a, something mature. Okay, this person this person fantasizes of having a stable solid like this person has a fantasy has a fantasy of being head of household of 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 like if 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 it, if you are the man of household they they have a fantasy of someone being the the dominant energy of the house whether it be them or having someone ex exert themselves there there's something about the situation that they just went and rekindled where that fantasy is fulfilled but it's, it's not even that the fantasy is fulfilled, but the vision, it's easy like to see it, like it's easy to project it. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, Spirit. When they're in that situation, they have the appearance of head of household, but they are not. It is clearly a fantasy, it isn't an illusion, thank you. It is an illusion that they are head of the household over there, but they have the image of it over there. Okay, this person desires the reality of it. And I feel like that when I look at all of this pentacle energy for them thinking about Sag, it's almost like they feel in the page of pentacles is what they're holding on to. It's like they feel inferior. They feel like that they only can offer you something small, but they feel. But there's also this energy of that they think when they think of you, they think about the Ten of Pentacles. They think that it could go like they see it factualizing the Ten of Pentacles. That's the big like that's the like that's generational. Like that's the long term. Like that's that creates long term stability. That's what they think about when they're thinking about you. 
So it's almost telling me that this person may feel like that they don't, they may feel like you're more stable than them. They may feel like that they have to try too hard to be on your level or it would be too much work. Uh, why are they holding back? What is causing them to hold back? The night. Oh. This person ain't ready to commit yet. They're not ready to feel locked down. And they know that if they, they know they're coming your way, they would have to give up some sort of. There's something that would change. Their freedom would change. The, the, the Knight of Wands is, baby, they like to free roam. Like they, they, they like adventure. They feel like that that would stop. Their adventure would slow up. And that causes them to hold back from you. Hmm. Yes. It brings them anxiety that they would actually... I don't know. Maybe this person is doesn't want to go from one thing to the next. This person may want to... They want something long-term with you, but they don't feel... I don't know. Maybe they feel like that they still have some seeds to sow or um, they don't want to straight out commit. They feel like that they would be missing something if they straight out committed here. But they're thinking of you. This person just ain't ready to give up their independence. I, I definitely feel like that it was holding this person back is they wouldn't be able to move so freely. Things like they feel like that. Because when we look at the Ten of Pentacles, it's, it is all, it is a lot of, it's, 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 it's a lot of serious energy here, okay? It's like, it's time to start. It's go, 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 go. Like it's goals, not go. Goals, G-O-A-L. So it's like real life. Maturity, adulting is what is expected if they was to intermingle with you. What's this Knight of Wands? Their independence. It is. Um, yeah, the Knight of Swords. They they don't want this to slow down. What why they're like this person, they're choosing to actively hold back. They're thinking about you, Sag, but they're actively choosing to hold back. This person isn't ready to commit after what, like whatever this is, they're unable to commit to what it is that you're looking for, Sag. And I ain't going to be the one to sit here and tell you to hold back and wait for them, especially considering that we have liars. This is someone that just doesn't know what they want. They're not ready to commit yet. But I do feel like that they went and like recklessly tried to rekindle something. I'm not going to lie there. But for whatever consolation you needed, Sag, this person is definitely um, thinking of you. And um, this person knows that they owe you something. They're just not... They're not making they're not taking action on it because there is something that has been preoccupied right now so Sag, if i could be honest with you it's just time for yeah this makes you feel rejected but don't forget rejection is god's protection what is the tea, love tea between the person that is making Sag feel rejected and Sag? what's what message can you offer Sag here needs need to pay more attention to your it's like you have to pay more attention to your love life like your love life not this love not your love for this your love life like how does how do you show up in your love life in order for you to get the results that you're looking for yeah see look this person is unsure i'm telling you this person has commitment issues Questioning past actions and current decisions. This person is questioning their past decisions and actions. But it doesn't mean that they like it's because they're having to face the reaction, the consequences 
of those actions, okay? But in order for you to get the results that you're seeking, you, my first, you first, my love, must pay more attention to what it is that you're looking for in love. You have to harness your strength. It, like, you have to harness your internal strength and you have to understand your love and your love language in order to move freely and with confidence in your love language. That's why Spirit is urging you to pay attention to your love life. But this person is like, to be honest with you, it's not even necessarily just this person. It's the two of you all are unsure what it is you're looking for in your love life. Okay. Let's see, Spirit. What's the message to close this out? Ab ab abundance. Uh, this person, I told you, this person do like you. They love. I mean, it says love you unconditionally. They like, may love you. I just feel like this person is so confused. I don't even think they really understand what real love is. But you've done so much work. Abundance is about to flow to you now. So if you can shift your focus from this to you and your love life. And the things that you love about life, if you can shift your focus to those things, you're about to receive some sort of inflow right now. This person absolutely knows they crossed the line when they did whatever the fuck it is that they did. They know they crossed the line. There's new love coming in for you. There's new love coming in for you. Uh, I, mean, I want to close this out. Let me get it. Let me. Yeah. 31, 34. The void. It says you have more control over your life than you recognize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things turn turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out. Have fun. Open up and go outside. Let this go. This distance here, this rejection here is definitely God's protection. Okay? You are being divinely protected under this rejection here. Alright? There's a new beginning coming in for you. It says, look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Personal power. Claim your personal power. Shift your focus to the things that you love about life. Because baby, a level up is here for you. I love you. Abundance is here for you. If you like this message, um, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If it really resonates and you would like a personal reading, head over to themanjulaawakening.com. And don't forget, we have about one to two days left um, to use Elevate 444 for 15% off of your personal readings. Peace, love, and light, guys.